Hello everyone, welcome back to Abandoned Mines of Pennsylvania. In this video I'm going to be covering lighting in underground mines. Early lighting in mines all the way up until about the 1850s was provided by either a candle or an oil lamp. Candle and lamp didn't provide much light. Uh, the candles were easily blown out and you also had an exposed flame that went in a gaseous environment provided a ready ignition source. In about 1850 they came up with what they call the teapot light. This uses the wick mounted in this stem and a small fuel tank that was fueled with either kerosene or oil or animal fats, uh, whichever the miner had on hand. Uh, this mounted directly to the hat uh, the miner was wearing. It was either a canvas or a leather hat. Uh, only provided about three candle power, really not much. In about 1900, they came out with the carbide light. And this is essentially two major pieces. You have a bottom hopper, uh, which was filled with calcium carbide, which is a synthetic rock that, when mixed with water, reacts and creates a settling gas. And then you had your top section, which has your water hopper, uh, which is filled through here. You had a reflector lens and your nozzle for the acetylene your drop adjuster, and then also a stem for which the water would, would drip down onto the calcium carbide. This lamp here I do have fueled up. We have water in the top, calcium carbide in the bottom. Just work our uh, drop up a little bit, and you have this striker here. So if you cup your hand over the top, let some gas accumulate. Right, I'll turn that away so the glare is not as bad. Um, the more drops uh, that you had, the more settling produced and the, the brighter the light. Uh, miners would carry extra calcium carbide with them, refuel as they go, and then anywhere in the mine there's water to fill the hopper with. Uh, these were also mounted on the hat, but the same issue as previous lighting, you had an exposed flame. Uh, like we talked about in the first video, uh, you have your permissible mine safety lamp, which is safe in gaseous environments, but provides very limited lighting. The carbide light was used up until about the 19 teens, the 1920s, when electric lights started coming out. Uh, they just used a, a hard hat or helmet mounted light connected to a battery pack with a cord. Uh, this is a more modern light. Uh, this uses LEDs uh, that run for anywhere from 8 to 12 hours on a single charge. Uh, other style mining lights, they have larger battery packs uh, to give you a little bit more time. Uh, but those are, those are your essential light sources uh, miners would have had throughout the years and said so these are our quick videos and other videos I'll go more in depth or if you guys would like me to just let me know and uh, we can go more in depth on on any one of these uh, thank you guys for the awesome feedback on the first video uh, we're going to keep keep turning these out and hope everybody has a good day and thank you for following and liking abandoned mines of Pennsylvania